going for a afternoon session of Plymouthson. Push here. It's a bit breezier and choppier than normal, but it's meant to come up really nice in, a, in an hour or so. Had a bit of a panic. Oh. Stuck on the land. Had a bit of a panic before I went to the petrol station at Mana and the bait freezer was empty. No, I could something like that everywhere. So anyway, it's um up the one up the road. Um, the water's crystal clear right in close. Anyway, it's Jeanette's birthday today, but I got a pass out because I shouted her a trip to Queenstown with some air points I had. I went too. It was bloody good. So different different, uh, what do you call it, stage of the tide today than the last couple of sessions where I've cleaned up, but paddle against this wind, and um, I can smell it too, and uh, head out to the same old spot, let's see what I can get. I'll the Rapala out in a minute actually, there's another bit of weed in front of me. So, uh, see you out there. So, I went back in and I got my anchor, thanks Jeanette and kids, and I paddled back out. And there's a little bit of current, but there's quite a bit of swell. I wasn't expecting this. Of course, now I've turned this on, it's between between um, big sets, but I'm going to keep recording until we get a big lot because it's quite intimidating. <clears throat> this might be a bit hard to see because they're flying through the light, but some tiger moths. First bite of the day. Oh, I think I lost it. Oh shit. Oh farting around turning the GoPro on instead of catching a fish. Missed it on the camera. We just picked up a nice cowboy. On the board. Fish. Really solid too. Oh, and there's some hooks at the bottom maybe. Could adjust. Oh, I'm hooked to my anchor rope. I think I've hooked both my lines. And a gurned. Is that for a mess? Oh, Jesus, I don't even know what to do with that. Bye bye. A bit uncomfortable, big swell. No anchor down, big current. Huge fucking mess. Hooks 
Subaru here. I've never had a tangle like this in my life. Never. I end up halfway to fucking Australia by the time I get this untangled. What a shamozzle of a truck. So it started out when I put the kayak on the roof of the car, I snapped the bloody connector on the hose tap, which it sits next to by mistake, and I can't get it out. And then I paddled out from a spot, almost got out there, realised I didn't have my anchor. So I had to bring my wife, get her to put the car, kids in the car, bring it down for me on her birthday. Uh, caught bugger all, fun car wife. Uh, and then tried to take a shortcut, hooked all my gear around my anchor rope. Um, couldn't get it untangled. And then snapped a bloody rod. I think I might just go to the pub next time instead of going fishing. Less stressful. Nah, probably not. I'll see you out here next time. So I'm back in Plymouthton and uh, water's gone right out, but how cool is this? How, uh, well, you can see how deep it is. Like shin deep. And 